Yes, I'm humming the theme song so they can't give me a strike for copyright infringement. To drink minimum. people in the place to be what's going on it's me it's me today is the day that we can officially start talking about Idris Elba as James Bond because apparently Daniel Craig doesn't want the suit anymore because according to all news outlets but the one we're gonna read here is time Entertainment section. Daniel Craig Jinks thinks James Bond is actually is actually a misogynist. This by Lucy Wang. Oh, Lucy Wang, you made the mistake of putting your Twitter handle on here. So if there are any mistakes, I'm blasting your ass for this. What can audiences learn from 007? Nothing, says the actor. Earlier this month, Daniel Craig admitted he'd rather slash my wrists. Can do another James Bond film after Spectre, and his restlessness and his restless. Re sorry, that's this is drink her down. Mm, that's drink her down. Relentless criticism continues. In a new interview with the Red Bulletin, the actor dryly shuts down Bond's purported chivalry. I don't necessarily think of him any other, one way or the other. Although a lot of people are do you know, strongly oppose one side versus the other. What can audiences learn from 007 and apply to their day-to-day -day lives? Nothing, according to Craig. Well, right. It's a, it's a fucking super spy character. The fuck are you going to... You don't have the magic grenade pin. What the fuck are you going to learn how to, how to drive 200 miles an hour in a souped-up sports car? Fuck out of here. Let's not forget that he's actually a misogynist, Craig said. A lot of women are drawn to him chiefly because he embodied a certain kind of danger and never sticks around for too long. Is that misogyny? He's on the run all the fucking time. How's he gonna stick around? He's saving the world. The very strong women Bond surrounds himself with, in contrast, have no problem putting him in his place. In the upcoming Spectre, one such character is Monica Bellucci's Lucha Sitiara. That's what I'm thinking. That's what it sounds like. Who Craig rejects labeling as an older woman. She is. She's in her 40s. She would call a 40 year old dude an older guy too i've heard the term old being used for guys that are in their 30s so yeah and i think bellucci may even be in her 50s we're talking about monica bellucci for heaven's sake when someone like that wants to be a bond girl you just count yourself lucky who is he sucking up to let's see in the, <laughs> the year is november 6th specter is the fourth and possibly last time Craig will play the iconic character. What I need right now is to stop working, relax, and get back to normal life, he said. There's one thing I actually find more exciting than Bond at the moment, going home. All right, that's acceptable. What the fuck, DC? Like I said, there are people who've said James Bond is such a misogynist pig. You know, I'm going all the way back to the fucking 60s, all right? Like, we're not, that's not a new assertion. And there are people who are like, and there are people I've heard who are like, oh, he's, he's chivalrous, I guess because he saves the girl, I guess. But I've never seen him as one or the other. Like, he's he's a character in a movie that's way beyond any kind of belief at all. And one of the points that they use that he's a misogynist as he doesn't stick around, uh, he's traveling the world all the fucking time. He's not going to stay at home and bake cookies, and walk the dog, and take off the trash when mummy tells him to. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And, uh, let's see, the very strong women Bond surrounds himself with, in contrast, have no problem putting him in his place. Okay! Uh, what the fuck? What, what's, the, what's the problem here? Talk about Monica Bellucci's age, for fuck's sake. She's an older chick! The guy, and, 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 as attractive as she is for her age, looks it you understand Halle Berry was I think pushing 40 when she was a Bond chick she didn't necessarily look 40 other than the fucking haircut Monica Bellucci kind of looks her age I'm not saying Monica Bellucci can't be in this movie I was excited to see Monica Bellucci when I saw the trailer but let's not sugarcoat it and beat around the bush she looks like an older chick 
shouldn't, shouldn't the fucking social justice warriors be celebrating the fact that there is an older woman in this movie who's a Bond girl, who's seen as a Bond girl and a love interest or interest set of sex or whatever for fucking James Bond. Which, by the way, is probably nowhere near the first time because if we're talking about the 60s and 70s, yeah, there were a lot of 20-year-olds, but I think there were a lot of older chicks too in that in their 30s in that movie, nearing 40 in, in those movies who just looked great. And I don't think anything was mentioned about their age. I have to look that up. What the fuck are we even talking about then? Like, seriously. This is Daniel Craig telling the producers I want out of this contract, and it sounds like it's just him acting out. Again, you're talking about he's a misogynist for having sex with women all over the world? That makes him a misogynist, or that makes him a world-traveling dude who has sex with chicks? By the way, women can do the same shit and do! Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. The positive, there's a negative here too. Because he runs the risk of alienating some of the fans. Alright? Which is not a good thing. This this movie got off to a great start with the trailers. Right? And Christoph Waltz is in it and all that other great shit. Little Bumpy Ride with the Sam Smith fucking Days of Our Lives theme song. Little Rocky Patch here with this. Little Rocky Patch with Pierce Brosnan. Talking about James Bond uh, will probably be, not that it has to be, but will probably be uh, white and male. Alright, because nobody read the article except here to drink minimum reactions. Guess what? Now we can start talking about Idris Elba as James fucking Bond. Now we can. Now we can have those discussions. Now, Idris, get your agent on the phone and tell him to get the Broccoli family on the phone because me thinks... Mr. Daniel Craig is on it. That was the thing about the Daniel Craig getting replaced by Idris Elbow thing that I mentioned in the video down there in the description is that we don't know what Daniel Craig's next move is. Well, I think we already know that he's probably going to fucking book it after this. All right. And instead of doing it quietly and gracefully, he wants to make apps. He wants to burn the bridge. He he feels like he can't escape. Right. So he's he's burning the house. Fine. Burn burn the motherfucker. Burn motherfucker burn. So we can move on to the next James Bond, which go ahead and start those petitions and get the fan support up for Idris Elba because it you know, you do it early enough and hard enough, it might actually be him. And I wouldn't be opposed to seeing that uh version of James Bond because I think he could fit the role. Because I don't think his color really has anything to do with it, as long as he's British. And can, and can do the action scenes, and I think he can. Party people, tell me what you think about this down there in the comments section. Do you think this uh, this Daniel Craig interview is off base? Do you think Daniel Craig is off base? Do you think Daniel Craig is has gone around the twist? Do you think he, he needs to shut the fuck up? Does this change your perception of the James Bond movie, Spectre? Are you going to go see it still? Are you not going to go see it? Uh, does this change your perception of James Bond as a whole? Does it change your perception about your congenial host as a whole? Let me know down there in the comment section. Also, like, share, subscribe. YouTube.com slash The Real 469 over to the right-hand side. Click the little blue button that says support. You'll be supporting, and that ain't bad. Boom. Boom. And boom. Sit like city, sit like city, bitch. Sit like city, sit like city, bitch. Sit like city, sit like city, bitch.